In this video, I'm gonna go over the preparation and reaction of acid chlorides, also known as acyl chlorides. I wanna say two things before I get started. Number one, I'm using acid chlorides specifically in this video, but these reactions also work for acid bromides or acyl bromides. And number two, I'm not gonna be doing any of the mechanisms at all for any of these reactions. These are all nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions. They all have the same mechanism. So to begin with, we'll look at the preparation of an acid chloride. The fastest, um, most direct way to synthesize an acid chloride is to use a carboxylic acid and react it with thionyl chloride, SOCl2. That replaces the OH group with the chloride. It gives us our acid chloride. The next three reactions, hydrolysis, alcoholysis, and aminolysis, these are reactions between an acid chloride and water. For the hydrolysis reaction and in this reaction water is our nucleophile and the water the oh group of the water is going to replace the chloride of the acid chloride so this will synthesize a carboxylic acid one of the byproducts of this reaction is hydrochloric acid which is a very strong reactive as you or strong acid as you know and it's very reactive so this reaction is done in a solvent called pyridine pyridine is a basic solvent and the pyridine is there um, not only as a solvent, but also it helps to pick up and neutralize any of the hydrochloric acid byproduct. The alcoholysis reaction is almost identical. Instead of using water, we will use an alcohol, ROH. Um, for the same reason as above, we need to do this reaction in pyridine to pick up any, um, uh, pick up all the hydrochloric acid that's generated. And in this reaction, we're going to put an OR group from the alcohol, OR group, onto the um, carbonyl group in place of the chloride. The aminolysis reaction is reaction between the acid chloride and an amine. An amine is a nitrogen with three groups on it. In this reaction, uh, one of the groups on the amine has to be a hydrogen. And then the other two groups on the amine could either be hydrogens or they could be alkyl groups. I'm gonna make a note over here on the side that these could be, um, it could be NR2H like I just wrote here, or it could be NH2R, or it could be NH3. The hydrogen from the uh, nitrogen is lost during the course of the reaction, so we end up with an NR2. So over here, um, Instead of using NR2, we could use NH2R, or we could use NH3. Um, this reaction uh, does also generate hydrochloric acid, but we don't need to do this reaction in pyridine because the amine is a base. All that we need to do is make sure that we have extra of our amine. So we have plenty of amine. Usually you just see it written as a two, but you could also see it written as excess amine. The next reaction that we're looking at is a reduction to an alcohol. Uh, with our acid chloride, we can use one of our strong reducing agents, such as lithium aluminum hydride. These reactions are always step two water or step two H3O plus. And this reduces the carbonyl group, gets rid of the chloride, and converts this to a primary alcohol. We can also do a reduction to an aldehyde. So this would be a, a using a mild reducing agent. However, we can't use PCC for this, like that's normally the mild reducing agent that we're used to using. In this, we're gonna be using a lithium aluminum hydride derivative. It is L-I-A-L-O-C-C-H-3-3-3. Lithium aluminum tri tert butoxy hydride lithium aluminum tri tert butoxy hydride it's a very bulky as you can imagine extremely bulky reducing agent um, and so this allows for the reduction of the acid chloride to the aldehyde but this reagent does not react with the aldehyde we can react um, our acid chlorides with grignards this requires excess Grignard or two equivalents of a Grignard. I'm gonna use an MGBR Grignard. Also followed step two with water or step two H3O plus. This is going to put 
two alkyl groups from the Grignard onto the carbonyl carbon. So two of the alkyl groups from the Grignard will go onto the carbonyl carbon. And then the last reaction that we're going to look at for the acid chlorides is a reaction with a lithium aluminum dialkyl cuprate. This is a Grignard, is a type of a Grignard reagent. Um, it's R2CuLi. So it's pretty similar to a Grignard. It's a metal um, with an alkali metal and two alkyl groups on this Grignard. This is all just one step all by itself. And this will synthesize a ketone. So this is like a mild Grignard type reaction where one of the alkyl groups from this reagent ends up over here uh, as one of the alkyl groups of the, of the ketone.